the Busbys found fame with their hit reality series Outdaughtered. When it premiered in 2016 on TLC, the family had just grown by five adorable quintuplets. But what have they been up to ever since? Here's how the Busbys took on the tough stuff and came out stronger than ever. What do y'all do at school? <laughs> When they first debuted on the show, the Busby Quints were just tiny little newborns. And while parents Adam and Danielle already had their older daughter Blake, who was four years old at the time, the five new additions needed lots of care and attention. But by 2020, the Quints were already off to kindergarten. It was a big step for the whole family. And Danielle commemorated the moment on her Instagram, writing, "'Can't believe it! The Quints were so excited about today. And though we were not allowed to bring backpacks yet to school, I couldn't resist and had to give it to them. Growing up so fast, so proud of them. This is scary. I mean, I just, I, I can't imagine life without Danielle or these babies. Longtime fans will remember the challenges the Busby family immediately faced when the Quints were first born. Because they were multiples, their birth was incredibly high risk, and their early arrival landed them in the NICU, where they received world-class medical care. But on top of all of that, Adam and Danielle soon learned that their fiery little redhead, Hazel, had a rare eye condition that would potentially require surgery in the future. There's nothing more precious than having to care and comfort and love your child. On season two of the show, viewers watched as a then one-year-old Hazel underwent a delicate eye procedure. Then on season seven, the family considered a second operation. Despite doing everything they can, the Busbys will likely always be evaluating Hazel's condition. As they explained on Instagram in 2019, nystagmus is a condition that we knew nothing about before having this little miracle ginger. This condition that causes Hazel's eyes to wobble has no cure. While there appears to be no way to determine Hazel's future in regards to her eyesight, the adorable redhead has proven herself to be a fighter since the day she was born. While the Busby family had to adapt to a new normal when the show debuted, one of the highlights of the series was seeing the pure happiness the Quints brought to the entire family. But even though each of them could certainly throw down with a temper tantrum, Olivia, for example, has gone from being a bit stubborn to developing a more relaxed personality. No, Lulu! OMG! In a post on the family's blog, It's a Buzzworld, Danielle described Olivia's demeanor as a newborn, writing, "...she is kind of stubborn, which makes me laugh. Might be a little like me. When it's time to clean her mouth, brush her gums, she hates it. She will hold her mouth closed so tight, it's hilarious." But by 2020, little Lulu had practically transformed into a different girl. In a post for the Quint's fifth birthdays, Danielle wrote, "...Olivia just goes with the flow and plays whatever anyone else is doing." As a baby, no one could have guessed that the sporty, confident Parker would ever go on to struggle with anxiety. But in 2019, her family began to notice signs that something was damaging her mental health. On one particular episode, the Quints were performing at a Christmas pageant and Parker burst out crying. Adam said, "'I just want to run up there and hold her. It just seems like all the girls are taking this huge step forward, and Parker's just going the other direction.'" Parker is different. I know it's hard, but we can't always keep them all together, and we have to do what's best for her. Adam and Danielle then took Parker to meet with a professional to address the situation. On the show, Danielle explained, "...Parker hates new things and being in the spotlight. And here we are dropping her into the situation where it's all about her. It kind of feels backwards." Fortunately, the Busbys were able to get Parker started on the road to recovery. As one half of the only pair of identical twins in the mix, along with her sister Olivia, Ava has indeed become a lot sassier than she was as a baby. When Ava was a toddler, Danielle took to her blog to describe her daughter's personality, explaining, "...she is so content just chilling by herself, but boy oh boy does she love her Olivia." She's definitely the mama's girl for sure, but also Ava weighs the most, <laughs> and it's like, is that what's wrong with my back now? <laughs> But when Ava turned five, she had grown into her personality even more. Danielle shared, "...this girl is the sassiest of all the girls. She is full of emotions and exaggerations." Even though the younger girls are quints, that doesn't mean they advance at the same rate. And that's especially true when it comes to their cognitive abilities. Riley has really moved ahead of the pack and shown off her skills in the classroom. What shape is this? Um, diamond. In one episode of the show, Adam and Danielle had a sit-down meeting with the Quinn's teacher and learned that during a placement test, Riley had scored a lot higher than her peers. But while Danielle joked about not being able to parent a smart kid, Adam expressed his concern, adding, "...it's pretty awesome to hear how advanced Riley is, but we do have five other girls at home. How do we keep her stimulated and still give the other ones attention that they need?" <laughs> But while Riley continued to thrive in her education and tested out of pre-K and into kindergarten, as of 2020, it appeared that all five Quints were studying at the kindergarten level. Hello? Anybody in there? One of the sweetest parts of the show is seeing the bond that the Busby girls share with each other, and big sister Blake has always been an integral part of the family. As the Quints arrived, Adam and Danielle wanted to make sure Blake felt included, and they certainly succeeded at the job. I thank you for being the best big sister probably in the world. 
But these days, Blake is practically a preteen. In celebration of their daughter's ninth birthday, Danielle penned on her blog, this year has brought on a lot more confidence in Blake, and we have loved seeing this. She tried out volleyball this year and also got a guitar. She never stops surprising me with her wanting to know more and more everything. On season one, Adam and Danielle struggled with fitting their entire family into their small home and considered whether or not they could afford to move into a bigger place. But by 2019, after they had already relocated, fans watched as the Busby family transitioned out of their place and into a temporary residence while their previous house was being treated for mold. This is the only house the girls have ever known, and it's kind of sad. I feel like we're leaving a family member behind. But that temporary move turned out to be permanent. The Busbys loved their rental house so much, they decided to buy it. Since then, they settled into their new digs quite nicely and even renovated their kitchen in 2020. As the gang shared on their YouTube channel, the construction completely took over their indoor space, so they were lucky to be able to enjoy such a great outdoor area. The Busbys have made some major upgrades to their living situation, and they are clearly enjoying the extra room they now have to raise their kids. Babies aren't cheap, and as children get older, there are even more expenses to consider, like school, clothing, and potentially college tuition. And when Our Daughter premiered, it appeared as though Adam had the kind of job that could support a large family and all their needs in a corporate management position in Houston, Texas. This is my job. I mean, this is how we eat, and that's the reality. That's how it is. But that was then, and this is now, and Adam has since launched a new career, where he's his own boss. He got to use his production talents and spread his creative wings when he started working for himself at Adam Busby Media in 2018. Why am I being vilified for trying to provide for my family? Because you don't want to do what I do, and I do everything around the house. Apparently you're not doing a very good job. Fans watched as the family made the career transition, and with so much on the line, there were obvious growing pains. But it seems to have worked out for the best, and these days, the Busbys look like they're doing better than ever. With six young kids, it's kind of impressive that Adam and Danielle are able to get anything done outside of caring for their family, but somehow the fitness-minded couple makes it happen. They even launched a business in 2017, a boutique cycling studio called Rush Cycle. Danielle dished the details on their endeavors at the time, telling Style Blueprint, We're just starting the construction phase now, and I'm ecstatic about it. I'm excited to be getting involved in the fitness industry because it's a passion of ours. It's exactly what I envisioned when I, we talked about doing this, like just making me feel like a person. The couple even featured the studio on the show, with Danielle wanting to spend more time working there. But more recently, TV show's Ace reported that the Busbys seem to have cut ties with Rush Cycle. While it's unclear as to why they parted ways, it seems the Busbys have definitely moved on from the business. While they may no longer be in the cycling biz, that doesn't mean that Adam and Danielle don't have other big dreams. And since she first debuted on the show, Mom of Six Danielle launched two businesses in 2019. The first was Caddy Fitness, an online athletic apparel boutique that she founded with her sisters. They stated on the company website, It was only natural that we build and create a business together. Our passion for fitness has been a constant between us and is a reminder of our strength as sisters, wives, mothers, and business owners. Nailed it! Then, Danielle announced the launch of her Grace and Bee Boutique, an online shop featuring a casual fashion line for children and adults. When viewers first met Adam and Danielle, the couple was so focused on tending to their five newborns, they had little time to spend on anything else, and it quickly became apparent that the bills were piling up. But when Danielle posted a 2019 photo with a designer bag, fans immediately began to question how she could afford it. One user asked, How do you manage to buy such expensive handbags with six kids to feed? But Adam stepped in immediately, standing up for his wife with a clarifying comment when he said, We own six businesses on top of a television show. We work very hard for the things that we have. You're doing good, bus. Yeah. Cheers in 10 years. These two are clearly dedicated to putting in that hard work, and it's definitely paid off for this reality star couple. As the show deftly portrays, life with six kids can get overwhelming, and at the same time, it's also pretty adorable. But as fans know, the Busbys have faced some very real challenges, like Adam's struggle with male postpartum depression. I'm at my happiest whenever I'm hanging out with my girls, but I want to feel that way all the time. The family took fans along on the journey, as Adam sought help for his mental health. But while it was obviously a difficult chapter for the couple, it appears Adam wouldn't change a thing about coming forward with his diagnosis. He said in a statement to People, I want men to feel comfortable opening up about their feelings and expressing the struggles they're going through. I want to help end the stigma surrounding mental health. The worst thing that you can do is stay silent and try to fix things on your own. When their show premiered, the Busby family was still adjusting to life with five newborns, quickly discovering just how much they would need to spend on baby supplies every month. From bottles to diapers to strollers and teethers, all of the costs had to be multiplied by five. Adam and Danielle laid it all on the table, detailing the basics on what the quints were using up in a day. They told KPLC News, We use at least 50 to 60 diapers per day, 35 to 40 bottles. We spend $2,100 a month right now with just formula. If you threw in diapers and wipes, you're probably looking at $700 to $1,000. 
dollars. We had to get everything times five. But it's been a long time since the Quints were running around in diapers, and they no longer need to drink from a bottle. Of course, the Busby grocery bill is probably higher than the average family's. But that's no surprise for a family of eight. We're guessing that even though they may be spending their cash on much different things for their girls these days, the couple is certainly in a better financial situation to give them everything they need. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.